Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of the Great Lakes Professional Wrestling Showcase. We've got some more Proving Ground Wrestling with a Vet action for you here. We have Daniel Winchester versus Jamal King in our opening matchup tonight. We've got another tag team main event as Team Down and Team Cox face off. Starting with an arm wrench and twist there by Daniel Winchester and reversed by Jamal King. Now ladies and gentlemen, remember we are building up to our next event. Oh, scuffing the shoes. That's one thing you don't do to Jamal King. He's very proud of his shoes. They're very expensive. He's got one hell of a collection. Don't scuff his shoes. Uh, like I was saying, July 17th in Lansing, Michigan at the Fledge. Capital Pro Wrestling will be back taping brand new footage for the Great Lakes Professional Wrestling Showcase. It's been over a year. Well, come July 17th, it'll be over a year since our last event. And boy, are we excited to get back in the ring in front of each and every one of you. We'd love to see you live. Tickets are available. You can head off to cpwjuly2021.bpt.me. That's our brown paper tickets hookup. You can get your tickets online. Jamal King in control of this one. Just knocked Winchester out to the floor. Daniel Winchester. Oh, Jamal King with that flipping plancha over the top. Beautiful maneuver. Uh, Daniel Winchester, he was eliminated first and on the very first episode of this season of Proving Ground. Uh, Chuck, Big Chuck Wagon is his partner. And we're getting another look at him here against Jamal King. Oh, Winchester just springboards off that middle rope, you know, jumping knee right to the face of King, and he's got him, he's got him hurt. Beautiful fisherman suplex by Winchester. You can't build no bridge. Man. For a big fella, he sure has uh, some agility and some athleticism. Looks like he's got a, some of that uh, amateur wrestling background. Jaw jacking with the fans. It happens a lot here in XICW. Jamal King looking to find a way back to his feet and gets the knee dislodged from the back. Oh, nice schoolboy. Ooh, big pose. You can tell how long ago this was. Dan Tanaka, the referee with short hair. He knows. Been growing the hair out during the pandemic and before. He's got quite a mane going now. And Winchester still on top looking for. Oh! Whips him right in the corner. Uh oh. Winchester set Jamal King up, but he's taking a lot of time here. Oh, yeah, and Jamal able to get out of the way, get that scissor sweep. Winchester down, throw it across the ropes. And Jamal King runs around the perimeter of the ring. Oh, big kick to the face. Leg is hooked. Two count, near fall. Jamal King getting some offense in there. Okay, telling us uh, what, what kind of shoe he's got here tonight. Oh, thumb straight to the eye, just digging it in. Winchester takes control. Big European uppercut. Referee Dan Tanaka disgusted with the tactics of Daniel Winchester. Look at that jumping knee. Oh, he's got the legs. Hook to Texas Cloverleaf. Oh man, he's sitting down. He's sitting down far. That is a tight Texas Cloverleaf. Jamal King in trouble. Searching for a way to the ropes. He's almost there, and yeah, he's able to get there. Man. That, that was a deep, deep Texas Cloverleaf. Okay. 
Manchester in firm control now. Oh, there's that European uppercut again. Flips him into the corner. Oh, but Jamal King able to come out with the clothesline and another one. Still has some fight left in him. Oh, sidesteps on <laughs> a right hand, right to the jaw. Uh-oh, Jamal catches him. Oh, it exploded into the corner. Cover. Oh, very near fall, but Winchester trying to get that power in his legs and able to get the shoulder up with the kick out. Fans in attendance. Chanting for shoes. Jamal King not happy with Daniel Winchester. Boot blocked. Oh, kicks him forward right into that knee. Going for that clover leaf again. And it's hooked. And it's deep once again. He's got it hooked. Jamal King might want to think about his future. But then able to press up and relieve some of the pressure. Oh no, Winchester right back, pulls him into the middle of the ring and just sits down. Jamal Quinn might have no choice but to, to give it up. Oh no, Winchester, he's turning it around. He's go. oh, hard right hand. Just not, oh, Jamal King playing a little bit of possum, rolls him up, three. Jamal King able to pick up the victory here tonight. And up, well, I, I don't want to call it necessarily an upset, but it was unexpected with that roll-up. But Jamal King is your winner, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to hear for a few words from our sponsors, and then we'll be right back with the main event. And now, a word from our sponsors. Footprints of Michigan is always looking to find shoes and boots for Michigan's homeless and veteran populations. Currently, they need volunteers for the Taco and Tequila Fest, so visit their website to see how you can help. Located in downtown Ferndale at the Rust Belt Market, the Brave Wimp features eco-conscious wearable pop art and more. Looking online? Visit etsy.com slash shop slash the Brave Wimp. Need to get your burrito fix? El Burrito Mexicano can help. Located at 801 West Thomas L. Parkway in Lansing, El Burrito Mexicano sports authentic Mexican food and pastries. Call ahead, 517-327-8222. Looking for your late day burrito fix? Check out the Lansing Farmer's Markets and you can find El Burrito Mexicano there. Get your very own Hook and Catch Wrestling Club t-shirts. $20 or two for 30. Message Hook and Catch Wrestling Club on Facebook. Also available, merchandise from Conrad the Influence Louts. T-shirts, hats, and vinyl figures are available for sale. We miss our home at the Fledge, but their mission continues as they create opportunities to pursue happiness. Radical inclusion values not rules. Get involved at thefledge.com. Looking to get that design printed on a shirt? Call Jam. Looking for posters or banners? Call Jam. Jam Clothing and Designs, 517-894-4589. Capital Pro Wrestling is back. July 17th, the Great Lakes Professional Wrestling Showcase returns to The Fledge. Bell time is 3 p.m. and tickets are only $15. Currently scheduled is the main event to decide the first ever Great Lakes television champion. CJ Achen will battle Josh Raymond to see who will walk away the champ. If you'd like to advertise on the Great Lakes Professional Wrestling Showcase, message Capital Pro Wrestling on Facebook or email us at AmericanLuchaLibre at gmail.com. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with our main event of the evening. It's tag team action in the Proving Ground Wrestling with a Vet Tournament. 
We've got Jamie Cox and Travis Titan in one corner. We've got Zach Gowan and Marcus Everett in the other. What's interesting is we've got our two veterans on the outside, both members of the Fun Loving Criminals, one of XICW's most decorated teams of all time. Marcus Everett and Travis Titan, two rookies of the team, going to take each other on and feel each other out to begin with here. We have a feeling we're going to see a lot of athleticism on display because both Marcus Everett and Travis Titan have plenty to spare. And with the veteran experience of Jamie Cox and Zach Gowan, I think both these teams are certain to go far here as we're actually nearing the end of this Wrestling with a Vet tournament. We're going to be featuring it on a few more episodes here in the Great Lakes Professional Wrestling Showcase and then we're going to have brand new footage coming out of July 17th in Lansing, Michigan at the Pledge when the Great Lakes Professional Wrestling Showcase returns at Capital Pro Wrestling. And of course folks, we want to see you there. Your tickets are available now. You can order them online. CPWJuly2021.BPT.me That'll get you to our tickets page. Big clothesline by Marcus Everett. Get your tickets now. Make sure that you have them before we sell out. And we'll see you at ringside. Because that's you know, where we want you to be. It's been a tough year and a half. I mean, we want to get back in the ring. Get back to bringing the best professional wrestling entertainment that we can. Beautiful Northern Light suplex by Marcus Ever, but he's no longer the legal man, so referee Steve Burno not going to make the call. Zach Gowan with a flipping senton. Hooks the leg tight, only gets a two there. There you go, now he's got a head and arm lock. Oh, there it is. Now Zach's got him. Tied up. Got the head, got the arms, got the leg in there. And Titan's doing really the only thing he can do, throwing some punches into the side there, try to loosen the, the grip of Zach Gowan, which he was able to do. Now a uh, small package, only a two. And I was talking about the athleticism of Marcus Everett and Travis Titan, but you know what, Zach Gowan, no slouch himself. A lot of people don't think to expect that from Gowan because of course he is the one-legged wonder but the important thing to take away from that is wonder Zach's got plenty of athleticism strength and stamina oh big Superman punch there by Travis Titan springboards off the middle rope there this match has been a real hard hitter right from the get-go Marcus Everett just getting a beating. Let's go Travis about 20 bucks or something. I don't know. Oh, big German suplex, but he dumps Marcus Everett right on the dome. Everett trying to find his way out. I think he's a little loopy from that. He's able to get up and over. Uh-oh. Oh, there's another high-angle German suplex. Marcus Everett down once again. Only a two count. He's going to need to make a tag. He's going to have to get Gowan in that ring. Because now we've got the very fresh Jamie Cox. Our first look at him in the match now. And we're already several minutes into this thing. So Jamie Cox has just been chomping at the bit on the apron to get in the ring. Oh, and head first goes Marcus Everett into the corner. And head first into the opposite corner. Oh, big kick right to the midsection. Whips him back by the head and neck. We're going to see Jamie Cox July 17th at the Fledge in Lansing. Travis Titan makes the blind tag, drops the knee. Cox comes in, drops the leg. Titan and Cox, an excellent tag team here in XICW Proving Ground. 
They have a lot of chemistry, and that's important in tag team wrestling. You gotta have chemistry. Marcus Everett really needs to break away from Titan and back up and make the tag. If he can back up and make the tag, get Gowan in there, that's only going to be good for him, but he's going the wrong way. Oh, Gowan comes in a little early, and I guess the referee's going to let that one slide. Marcus Everett doesn't know what he's doing, but oh, now he's there. Moonsault. Springboard moonsault. Gowan's still a legal man. Only a two count. Took a little bit too much time getting that maneuver set up, getting that double team. Oh, the drops the elbow. You got to make sure that you are on point in tag team wrestling. See, we, we saw a little bit of miscommunication with Gowan and Marcus Everett there. That could cost them if they keep that up going forward here. You didn't see that trouble with Titan Cox. So if they can keep up. Oh! Gowan knocked off the top turnbuckle. And this one's going to the floor. Jamie Cox uh, checking on his friend, it looks like. Yeah, they are indeed friends besides all this. Uh-oh, Marcus Everett! The opportunist taking flight and drop kicking Cox right in the back. Titan and Everett pairing off once again. Oh, trading head throws into the apron there. Uh-oh. Zach Collins got the walker. Marcus Everett has some lady from ringside throwing her around, using her as a weapon. You got it? Can you see it? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> she was picked up on the shoulders of Marcus Everett and used as a weapon. And now Zach Allen's got the walker and he's using that as a weapon. Travis Titan says, no, no, stop using that as a weapon. I want to use it. And it's just a Downey Brook gear on the outside of the ring, which often happens with XICW. Hard to contain all of this in one ring at a time. Now Travis Titan has Zach Gowan in the ring. I guess we're going to say these two are the legal men. I don't know if that's actually correct or not, but it doesn't matter at this point. Because the referee is going with it. Got that rear chin lock applied. Gowan trying to find the power, trying to find the strength. Jamie Cox on the apron trying to get the crowd behind his partner, but Gowan able to get up to his feet and use the chin breaker there. And Gowan, instead of making the tag, now attacking Travis Titan. Maybe that was a mistake by the veteran. Oh, but he's able to drop down and trip Titan into the ropes, and Marcus Everett takes advantage with that drop kick. Oh, a complete shot now. Gowan positions him. Oh, Marcus Everett dives off the top of the big splash. Gowan goes for the pin, but that's not going to go for it because Cox able to get in there and break it up. No one stopped him from entering. Now battling in the corner. Marcus Everett has Travis Titan in the opposite corner. Cox has Gowan. We've got dueling 10 punches. <laughs> Zach Gowan able to drop out. Marcus Everett, oh, sunset flip bomb. Gowan with the pin, but Travis Titan breaks it up at the very last second. 
And Gowan unceremoniously dumped out of the ring. Marcus Everett taking on Travis Titan. Drop kick blocks, pushed away. Titan calling for Cox. And double suplex by Travis Titan and Jamie Cox. These two look like they're ready. Mar Marcus Everett ascending his way to the top turnbuckle. Oh, <laughs> knocked to the floor by both of his opponents. Zach Gowan now coming into the ring. Cox wants him up to his feet. Do this thing the fair and square way. But Gowan gets out of the way. Titan, oh no, he comes in and hits his own partner. Small package roll up. Oh, near fall. Might have seen another small package victory here tonight. But oh, jawbreaker there. Gowan in. And the cox block. Two, three. That is it. Woo! There are your winners of the match, Jamie Cox and Travis Titan. They're able to pick up the victory here tonight on the Great Lakes Professional Wrestling Showcase and, of course, XICW Proving Ground Wrestling with Event. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, we've got wrestling coming up July 17th at the Pledge in Lansing, Michigan, and we want to see you there. Get your tickets today, cpwjuly2021.bpt.me. We can't wait to get back in front of you. We'll see you next time at ringside.